Hi everyone! So today I'm here to film a TBR video for the Contemporaryathon. And this is a Contemporary Readathon starting today, September 17th, and going through the 23rd of September. And it's hosted by Chelsea, Julie, and Natasha, and I'll leave links to their channels down below. Now if you've been following my reading journey, you know that I do like contemporary, but it's not my favorite genre, so I decided to push myself this week to get some of those contemporaries that I'm sitting on my shelf for a while read. This week I'm also leaving on vacation to visit my mother in kind of a rural community in British Columbia, so I'm gonna have a lot of reading time, so I decided it'd be fun to do a reading vlog, so look out for that video next week. Without further ado, there are some challenges, so let's get into it. So there are seven reading challenges for this readathon, and the first one is to read a book with orange on the cover, and I actually did have a couple of these, but I chose Bonfire by Christian Ritter. Now I believe this is actually a mystery thriller, but that's a contemporary setting, so I'm gonna go with it. I literally have no idea what this book is about, because for mystery thrillers especially, I hate reading the synopsis, because I don't like being spoiled at all, so we're going into this one blind. So the second challenge is to read a dark or spooky book, now I want more a dark subject matter, it's probably not scary at all, <laughs> but that is A Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. So this sounds like a hard-hitting and heartbreaking contemporary that I've heard really good things about, and it's about a set of twins named Mara and Owen, and Mara's best friend accuses Owen of rape. I've heard it does a really good job exploring this topic and obviously the many conflicting emotions that must be going on. I can't really say I'm excited to read it, but I do know this is going to have an impact on me. So the third challenge is to read a diverse contemporary, and for that I picked up Tiffany Sly Lives Here Now by Dana L. Davis. Um, I actually started this this morning and I'm really enjoying it. This is about a girl named Tiffany whose mother has recently passed and she moves in um, with her well-to-do father that she didn't know anything about previously. Um, she grew up in Chicago and she has moved to California to move in with his new family. On the other end of the spectrum, before she leaves Chicago, another man confronts her and claims that he thinks that he is her father. So she has seven days to live with this new dad and figure out who her real dad actually is. So far, it's really funny and charming and I really love Tiffany as a protagonist and I'm super excited to finish this book. So the fourth challenge is to read a book in a non-traditional format. So that's like a graphic novel or a play or an audio book and for this one I'm going with the same book again and that is Tiffany Sly Lives Here Now because I have the audiobook of this and it's really good so far. The fifth challenge is to read a book with your initials somewhere on the cover and I went with Dear Evan Hansen by various people. Um, I love Dear Evan Hansen the musical. I actually haven't seen it but I've listened to the soundtrack uh, repeatedly many 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 times and there is a C down here and an R up there so we're counting. So the sixth book is to read a book from a new to you author, and I went with When We Collided by Emery Lord. I actually own several of her books, but I have never read one. This is another contemporary I haven't really dived into the synopsis of, but I've heard pretty good things about it. It also has a beautiful cover, and I am excited to finally read some Emery Lord. So the seventh and final challenge is to read a book that you think is you're gonna give five stars, and for that I went with Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. Um, I have heard a few people talk about this in a really, really positive way, and it is about a girl named Alex, who is dealing with schizophrenia. Um, I loved Eliza and Her Monsters, which was an owl crate pick last year, and I've been meaning to read this for so long, and I do think I'm really, really gonna take a lot away from this one. All right, so that is my TBR for contemporary -thon. I only went with six books instead of seven, but we'll see. Maybe I'll sneak in a seventh book in there somewhere. I'm really looking forward to this week. It's gonna be super chill, and I'm looking forward to just diving into my books. Are you participating in temporary -thon? If so, let me know down below. I'd love to know if you're participating, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Happy reading, and thanks for being awesome. Bye.